Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Modern Warfare Season 3. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. So the update literally just went live. I had to install everything. I had to watch this long intro cutscene. I couldn't even skip. Season 3 is officially available. We got new weapons, new battle pass, a ton of new weapon changes as well. We have battle on Santa Cena. We have party modes. We have gunfire. The gunfight literally just returned this season. Paleo's Lighthouse. This is a brand new 6v6 map. Black Gold, another 6v6 map. If we go to Sniper Rifles, we got a brand new one, the FJX Imperium, which is the Intervention. And I think we have a new battle rifle. Yeah, the Cronin Squall, which really reminds me of like the Ram 7. We also have a brand new battle pass as well with Black Cell. If you guys don't know what Black Cell is, basically it's like an expansion to the battle pass. It costs like $30, but you get some extra rewards. You don't need to purchase this. Although we do get a new M4 blueprint and there's like an animated camo on it. Of course, guys, like every season of Call of Duty, I try to hook you guys up with the battle pass. So if you guys need the battle pass, drop a like on the video right now. Let me know in the comment section, your Twitter or Instagram and what console you play on. I'm gonna try and message a few of you guys. All right, so I just completed the battle pass. Let's just go through every single sector just to see if there's any good stuff in it. All right, for the first sector, uh, you get a weapon for the F-Tac Recon. Honestly, not that great. Sector two, we get some double XP. We get, ooh, oh, this looks different from the actual preview. It kind of like loaded in. That was really weird. Yeah, an operator skid right there going on to sector three. I don't know why things are not loading like here, but then if you click preview, then it actually loads. Of course, you get an operator skin as well. Moving on. Oh yeah, so C4, you get the FJX Imperium, which is the intervention. Sector five, you get another weapon as well. Wait, oh, this is for the RPK. Oh, this is nice. Okay, they're stepping it up. Sector five, you get a uh, Lockwood MK2, which is honestly pretty nice looking. Sector seven doesn't really look that great. Sector eight, more COD points. SPX 80 variant, and you get another skin. Costs have 74 you. It kind of looks like the uh, ISO Hemlock one. Sector 10, you get... What? What? What the hell? Oh, this one's kind of nice looking. Wait. And in each sector, you get a new operator skin for all the operators in the game. If you own the Black Cell expansion, you actually get a bonus operator skin for the characters. Okay, so C11, you get the brand new battle rifle, the Cronin Squall. Sector 12, you get another new weapon for the Bryson 800. You get some calling cards, yada, yada, yada. Submachine gun, Bass P variant, uh, which is all gold. It looks cool, but you know, there's already a gold camo in game. C14, you really don't get too much. C15, you get a SAB 50 variant. C16, you get like a pistol, you get some COD points, you know, stuff like that. Oh, C17, you get an FJX Imperium variant. C18, you get a Cronin Squall variant right there for the brand new battle rifle. This one is clean. C19, you get a Lockman sub variant, which is all gold once again. I guess the main theme of this season is basically gold. C20, you get a skin for Ghost, I believe. And this is his Black Cell skin, which honestly looks really badass. And then here is like the completion uh, tab right here. So you get another FJX Imperium, another Intervention variant, another Cronin Squall variant as well in the completion tab. Ooh, this one goes black and red. Oh, and it's animated. Okay, but I'm gonna have to try out the intervention in today's video. We have to try this out. Right, guys, so we have the new intervention and we're playing on the new map. Also, this new map is like hella dark, bro. Wait, um, this new map is really dark, but uh, okay. Wait, this map is also like huge. Come on, we just need some good maps in multiplayer. I can go all the way back here. I'm in a little hut. It's still going. It's, I can go all the way out here. I can go. If I go to my attack map, I am right here. This yellow dot. People are fighting over here. What is the point? My He just spawned in the back of the map. And this is why people want shipment 24-7 all the time. Because they put out maps like this. Like, this is literally a map for, like, the campaign or something. I feel like I'm playing Warzone. Like, I'm gonna get maybe 10 kills max. What the flip? Although, I think this room right here is very reminiscent of Estate from the OG Modern Warfare 2. Oh, my God. The intervention is feeling nice. I mean, the intervention is feeling really, really nice, but, uh, yeah, this map is probably not it. This dude's... What? what? Bro, I just feel like, like, I can go all the way out here. Like, why would I go all the way out on this side of the map? Oh, there's one guy. There's someone just out here. Yeah, this map, not really making any sense. Got him. I mean, this, the sniper is feeling really good, fellas. Did I just knock that guy? Wait, what? 
Yeah, I did knock him. I know there's one more other multiplayer map that we have to check out. It is like a night vision map and like, I don't know how that's gonna be. I genuinely don't know how that's gonna be. What the, what the? By uh, him? I, I feel like I'm playing Warzone with just how big this map is. Is this guy like down below? Oh, he's up top. Okay. Got him. Like a 15 kill streak right now. Did I just knock that guy? Pretty sure I knocked this guy. I did. And and then I die because he got knocked. Yeah, I'm really afraid to try out the other map though because that night vision's gonna be tough, bro. I think they also made some changes to like the movement of just Modern Warfare 2 in general, also for like Warzone. Like it's like smoother to like mantle stuff and I don't really know. I just feel like they need to add some kind of like slide canceling or some type of movement in Modern Warfare 2. I feel like there's no point to like slide still in this game. It's just so slow and like trying to like exit out of the slide and then shoot. It's just so clunky. I think with this update they made it like a little bit smoother but like overall it still feels so like bad i don't know why modern warfare 2 in general is just a very clunky game so that's why people are not really vibing with it hey, this is the new map what is this i can't even see it's so dark they're making me use night vision goggles to play a multiplayer map how, how are these maps getting like tested and like added into this game this is horrible this is one of the new multiplayer maps for the new season oh bro bro what is this why would they add a dark pitch black map into this game we need more color my god i'm i i, I already want shipment again Enemy what the what is that what is I, standing by. I literally can't line. see visual and target <laughs> Yeah, wow. I, I cannot believe this, bro. Uh, why can't they make maps like how they did back in the day? Like, why is it so difficult for Call of Duty to add new maps in, into Call of Duty games? Genuinely, wh why would they add this map into the game? It's just like, it's so unnecessary. Like, I know this was in Modern Warfare 2019 as its own, like, game mode. Like, the whole, like, night vision game mode. But now they're just adding, like, one map. This may be, and I'm not even exaggerating, the only time I ever play on this map in Call of Duty. Is that a guy? He's on the ground? What the? That's a guy sitting... I will never play this map ever again. I don't think you guys know how sad I am right now that both new multiplayer maps are bad. Like, we have to wait another 30 days for another multiplayer map. And even then, it's not even guaranteed that that map is gonna be good. At this point, I'm like, might as well just add Terminal, Rust, High Rise, Favela, just might as well add all those maps instead, bro, because these new maps are just not it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone new is making the maps this year for Infinity Ward, but goddamn, Infinity Ward just cannot make maps anymore. I don't know what happened. Happening. Thank you. Uh, at least, I mean, the intervention is feeling good. It hits for sure. Enemy what the enemy. flip? We're securing A. We got a UAV. We have We're going to start flooding C. Got an Overwatch Hilo. Let's go. They're just going to keep feeding me over here. Wow. That guy's on the ground. What enemy the fuck? Wait, did they already shoot down my Overwatch Hilo? Wait. Wait, I think they already we shot down my Overwatch Hilo. That was so fast, bro. What? Oh. Got the advanced UAV. Got him. Gotta kill my bouncing Betty. Got him as well. I'm gonna go right here. Got him. Nope. Oh my god. There's so many people right there. Is this guy here? Thank you. Got him. A nice little streak right now with this intervention. The intervention's feeling honestly really, really fire. Got him. Hello? Are we losing A? Advanced Is that a guy? Oh, I got a hit marker on him. Here we go. There's one. There might be another one. I'm on a 20. Bro, I am so close to this nuke. Oh my gosh, bro. These spawns are so whack right now. Got him. I can't even see. Oh my gosh. They're on B. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm on a brutal. Oh my god, the game's about to end. The game's about to end. No, the game's gonna end. Where are they spawning? Oh my god. No! I think I was one off the nuke. I'm almost positive I was one off 
the nuke. So anyways, guys, that is season three of Modern Warfare 2. Some of the cosmetics are cool and some of the weapon variants are honestly really cool as well. But like these new maps are terrible and the game movement wise doesn't really feel any different at all. I'm excited to leveling up this FJX Imperium. I'm going to probably unlock it Orion as well. This thing has a ton of attachments that you can actually add. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to experiment with this FJX Imperium. For all, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and I will see you next time.